Hello and welcome to Get to Know Science. This video is about half-life. If we have a piece of uranium-238, we know that the uranium nuclei are unstable. So they will decay in order to increase their stability. And they'll emit an alpha particle, a beta particle or a gamma ray. The thing is, these nuclei decay randomly. So we don't know which one will decay or when. This one might decay first. And if you try to predict which one is next, you might not be able to because this one might be next, followed by that one, followed by this one. So it's completely random. We don't know which one and when that decay will happen. All we can say is that on average, half of them will decay in a certain time, which we call the half-life. And in that time, the activity of the sample of uranium will also decrease because there are half as many nuclei remaining. Therefore, you get half as many decays per second. So here's the actual definition of half-life. We can define it using two ways. The half-life of a radioactive isotope is the average time it takes for the number of, nu of nuclei of the isotope in the sample to halve and for the count rate of the isotope in a sample to fall to half its initial value. And different radioactive isotopes can have very different half-lives, ranging from fractions of a second to billions of years. So if the number of nuclei that an isotope starts off with is 600, so it starts off with 600 radioactive nuclei, and it takes two hours, for that to be reduced to 300 nuclei, that means that the half-life of that isotope is two hours. And it also means that in another two hours, the number of nuclei remaining will have fallen by another half to 150 and so on. So in another two hours, it will have fallen to half of 150, so 75 remaining nuclei. Here's another example. So if the count rate of a sample starts at 320 CPM, that's counts per minute, and after one hour it falls to 20 counts per minute, what is the half-life? So we're starting with 320 counts per minute for our sample. After one half-life, that will have reduced by half. So we'll be left with 160 counts per minute. After the, well, after another half-life, however long that is, it will half again. So from 160, it will go down to 80 counts per minute. After a third half-life, it will half again. So we'll be left with 40 counts per minute and it will take four half-lives for the count rate to go down to 20 counts per minute. So four half-lives and the whole process took one hour. So one hour was enough time for four half-lives to occur meaning that one half-life must be a quarter of an hour or 15 minutes. So the half-life is equal to 15 minutes. We can represent decay on a graph. So this axis, the y-axis, will represent activity or count rate or the number of nuclei and the x-axis will represent time and that might be measured in seconds, minutes, hours, uh, billions of years, it depends. And to find the half-life from this graph what you have to do is you have to start at the initial value of whatever it is, activity, count rate, number of nuclei and you go down to the halfway point and you go across, trace it down, and this here will be
the half-life okay and we can do this again you can reduce it by half again so now we're at the, the quarter mark so from half we re reduce it by half we trace it across we go down and this distance on the axis again will be the half-life from there to there we can do this again so we half it again we go across we go down and this here from this point to that point will also be the half-life and we can carry on doing this and again this will be the half-life so you'll notice that the time taken for the count to fall by half each time is always the same and the time taken for it to fall by half will be the half-life each time so if this starts off at 400 once it has fallen to 200 that time taken will give you the half-life if it goes from 200 to 100 that time taken will be the half-life as well and for it to fall from 100 to 50 that will give you the half-life as well and from 50 to 25 again the same thing okay so that was a video on half-life make sure you like comment share and subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you all in the next video